Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Naushad Khan, one of the emergency medicine consultants. Uh, what is the cheapest therapy in the world to reduce the mortality of uh, COVID-19? You must be surprised, which is free. Sunlight. The cheapest therapy is the sunlight, which is very important to produce the vitamin D in our body. So obviously, which is free. The dark skin is very protective from the UV light, but at the same time, which is a less effective with the vitamin D production. So obviously, the people migrated from more daylight or the sunlight area to less sunlight area. For example, the Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, to they, if they when they migrated to UK will be affected more including African origin, uh, the people as well. Obviously, which will influence uh, by so many other factors, for example, clothes and lifestyle and culture. Yes, of course. But there are facts. One of the Indonesian study shows 49.7% of the patients are normal with vitamin D level. The mortality rate is 44% only. 27.7% of the patients, they are with insufficient vitamin D level in their body. So the mortality rate shows around 88%. But if you see that, 23% of the patients with deficiency of the vitamin D significantly. So they are showing the 99% mortality rate there's a significant difference, you can see that. This is a simple fact, we have to understand. More facts. The vitamin D has anti-inflammatory properties. So the inflammation is very uh, important pathophysiology in this COVID-19, which is influencing to produce the anti-stress hormones. And also the vitamin D will prevent the cytokine storm and also which will prevent the anti-thrombotic effect. You know that nowadays it's one of the hot topic. Basically, the, in the in the pathophy, pathophysiology of this uh, COVID-19, uh, the blood clotting, the thrombotic effect is very important. That will be prevented by the vitamin D. And also vitamin D, obviously, which is very important to improve our immunity in our body. We have to ask a few questions. What do you think? If we continue this lockdown situation, what will happen? Are we going to get enough sunlight? Are we going to produce enough vitamin D? Are we going to be artificial? Uh, are we going to move into artificial situation? Are we improving our immunity or reducing our immunity? We have to ask ourselves. If we open our lockdown suddenly with a low immunity population, what could happen? So they will be affected more obviously. The black and Asian and minority ethnic people are more vulnerable to COVID-19. You know that in the UK, number of doctors and healthcare professionals, they are from the black and Asian community and minority ethnic group people, they died because of the COVID-19. Does it connect with the vitamin D deficiency? Think about it. Obviously, there are so many other factors involving, for example, uh, they have a, a number of uh, medical conditions and all, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. But obviously, we have to think about, is there any connection between this vitamin D deficiency? Please think about it. Thank you. I'm Dr. Naushad Khan. If you have any questions, please come to my uh, public Facebook, Naushad Khan 2020. I'm more than happy to discuss with you. I'm more than happy to send you any further details on this. Thank you.